The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, Susanna, and many others, who provided for him out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. So we have uh, money or resources or finances or um, wealth that comes up over and over in the readings today, really rather um, coincidentally between the first reading and the gospel. <laughs> but uh, St. Paul writing to Timothy says, uh, the love of money is the root of all evils. Have y'all ever heard that before? Again, that's one of those uh, lines of scripture that kind of has made its way into popular dialogue. The love of money is the root of all evil. And I heard some scripture scholars debating about whether that was really a, an appropriate translation. And, and understanding again that the gospel is written in Greek and we translated into English and there's always something lost in translation or something that's not exactly perfect. But uh, there was this sort of agreement that maybe a better translation would be, the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Not like every evil that has ever been is from the love of money. The love of money is the root of all evil. No, the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. People will do every manner of evil for the love of money. Y'all following me? But what are we supposed to love with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength? We're supposed to love God and our neighbor. But money has this way of worming its way into first place. And when it does, it's the root of all kinds of evil. And so our Lord, through the wisdom of Paul to his son, spiritual son, Timothy, is giving this beautiful advice to be on guard for the love of money. Then it's, it is, a, I think, a wonderful coincidence that in the gospel, you know, Jesus at one point is uh, in a conversation about whether he has to pay the temple tax. And instead of getting out his pocketbook, he tells Peter, go down to the sea, throw in a hook, and the first fish that you'll catch will have a coin in its mouth, right? Y'all remember this story? And it's like, Jesus doesn't have to, he doesn't need my money, so to speak. But he entrusts money to me that I would have the capacity to be generous. So he, we see these ladies, some women, cured of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary Magdalene, seven demons had gone out of Joanna, who was probably a wealthy woman since her husband was the chief steward. Uh, that would be like the secretary of the treasury. Susanna, uh, and many others who provided for the 12 apostles. And so, you know, so we see the good of money in these gospel stories, right? And then we see the reality of the root of all evil. So today, as we kind of put together the, the messages that we hear, we recognize that money is a gift to us, but we can't love it. We love God and we love our neighbor, but we don't love money. And if we love money, that's the root of all kinds of evil. And so we pray today for the, the will to know 
the first and the greatest commandment, and that is to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, to love our neighbor as ourself. This is your invitation to give yourself a beautiful gift. Are you interested in Catholicism, learning more about the Catholic faith? We have a process here at Our Lady of the Gulf to teach, to grow in faith, and we want you to join. 